A very good morning from Tequisquiapan. The sun has come out. It was freezing this morning, but it has warmed up to be the perfect day. The birds are chirping I'm here behind my yapping, and we are so super excited to be here. Tequisquiapan is a Pueblo Mexico that is probably two and a half, three hours from Mexico City. Yep. Maybe an hour-ish away from Querétaro. Yep. It is quaint. It's pretty small. It's pretty, it's pretty small. small. Around 60, 70,000 people. But it is, it is absolutely beautiful. I think this street here, camera doesn't even do it justice. I think this street here is our favorite. What are these flowers called? Bougainvilleas. And then they've got them like where they're going to grow across, across the, the street. street. It's, it's it's like the epitome of charm. Now we have been to Tequisquiapan before, yep. but we wanted to come back. It was several years ago, and I don't we know. We were only here for one day, we so were, last time yeah. we were really rushed. We didn't have enough time to eat cheese, drink wine. Right. So here we are again to do just that. Believe it or not, this is a different street with all the bougainvilleas. It just looks very similar in a very positive way. It's so quaint <laughs> and quiet and magical. It's <laughs> like it's like this to me is a Pueblo Mexico. This is like right. it seems like I don't know how long Tequisquiapan has been a Pueblo Mexico, Since but it almost seems like wow. It almost <laughs> seems like this was like created from the idea, you know? Like, yes. This yeah. is like the picture this, perfect. Yeah, this is it. Now Hillary alluded to it, uh, wine and cheese. That is the wine, we're we are, we are, we are in the area of the Ruta de Quesos y Vinos. Queso yep. y Vino. Yep. Uh, however we are balling a little bit on a budget this trip. So I don't yeah. know I don't think we'll be visiting any any vineyards or do anything we're like that. Buy but some canela at Soriana. Yeah, come exactly. A lot of people come to this re come to Tequisquiapan to to visit some of the wine bars here or go to the wineries that are here close by. Yep. Lots of cheese. I think it's a popular destination for Chilangos like on the weekends, right? Yeah, I think it is like a I really so. really great weekend getaway. We've heard a few Chilango accents so far, but <laughs> How did it what did it sound like? Perfect. Uh, no mind the way. <laughs> I don't think we can put that on YouTube. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> okay. I've never heard anybody saying that here. <laughs> well, not here, but that's my Chilango accent. <laughs> okay, now that's a decent vendor Chilango accent, but let's get a Fresa Chilango accent. O sea, o sea, como? O sea, the only, the only Fresa thing I really know is O sea. I don't really know what else to say, O sea. <laughs> Sometimes we have these very vivid, fond memories that you guys may or may not know about. But this is this is what traveling is really like when the camera turns off. <laughs> we're wandering around Mexico City. I don't remember, did we have our camera with us even? I don't think so. We were just hurrying to dinner. It was late, we were exhausted. And out of one of these things, similar to this, I don't know where that goes, the deep dark abyss, but it looked just like this in Mexico City. A giant rat, like the size of a small dog. Yeah. Oh. oh! Oh, no. <laughs> Climbs up through one of those teeny tiny holes and is like scurrying around, and Greg and I are like, we're trying to not believe what we <laughs> see. So now I feel like we're scarred because we don't I walk feel like on when we those. first saw these in the plaza here in Techies, we like can't, Techies, that's what everyone calls it here. We like can't even get near it because I, I have like post-traumatic. Rat disorder? Rat disorder from even just like thinking the thought of what may be lurking right underneath that. Yeah. So while Techies is a Pueblo Mexico, please let it be without rats. <laughs> Well, to transition from the rat story, <laughs> Techies is very clean. You're right. And You're I don't right. know if it's, it's... probably no rats because there's no food for them. Just feels, I don't know, just feels very clean. There's no trash. Um, 
Yeah, you're very right. It is like I don't immaculate. Know. And I feel like that's one thing we really enjoy about Central Mexico as opposed to, look, we love Vallarta, but sometimes it's not like, it's not the cleanest city, yeah. at least that's in, fair. it's just not, it's just not. And it doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have the charm in town in terms of like the buildings and the colors and the yeah. flags that, that a place like Tequis or San Miguel or Juanajuato, those cities like that have. So that said, uh, uh. <laughs> it's beautiful here. Gotta do a little last minute Christmas shopping. So maybe candy, maybe, I don't know. There's an artisanal market, maybe, what is that? Jelly? Jam? Yeah. Salsa. But actually, I don't think you can take tamarindo to the States, so. What'd you get? I got artisanal mermelada de guayaba. 55 pesos, which I feel like is really fair, but also it's a good thing we don't have very many friends. <laughs> this is for my grandmother. I don't know if she counts as a friend or not. <laughs> uh, also behind the scenes, we're very bad at Christmas gifts. It's very bad. Mid December, and we have a jelly for my grandmother. What is some as they seen grandmother? Monday. Let's grab some uh, mango candies. Just when I feel like I feel like I know how things work in Mexico in terms of buying candy. Usually we buy it by the gram. Like we'll get a hundred grams of something. She threw a curveball at me and was throwing out cuartos, medio cuartos. I thought cuarto is like a room, half a room full of mangoes. Only 40 pesos, sign us up. We sent a lease. She said this is medio cuarto for 20 pesos. I think that's way too expensive. <laughs> but, but we needed the shopping fuel. I wasn't gonna, yeah, I wasn't going to argue with it. I'm guessing a cuarto refers to a fourth of a kilo, which that would be a lot, but then Medio cuartos, half of a fourth. That just doesn't translate in my brain. Whoa. I've never heard anybody talk like that. So I'm gonna go with, Wait, she's a wrong. A kilo would be 250 grams, right? And then a medio cuarto. That would cuarto. be 125 grams, so that's that about, seems right. about right. Why don't she just operate in grams? <laughs> I'm gonna start ordering things in octavos. Oh Can I get a doble octavo de, de mangos? That would be a lot, but I don't know how much an octavo is. All I and think eight. of is octaves, like, oh. Can I get a medio, medio octavo? One sixteenth of a kilo is how many oh, grams? Oh, wait. One sixteenth of a kilo. <laughs> I don't know. We made it to chocolate. I can't talk and pick this up, it's that big. <laughs> Let me start over. We made it to Chocolate Molinillo. That is a massive that cappuccino. That is a latte coffee. <laughs> now, Greg isn't acting stressed right now, but the idea of coffee over my laptop, I know is totally freaking him out. Should I give her a taste? Let's give her a taste. I almost spilled it. <laughs> Worst nightmare. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Sometimes I feel like my beef with lattes is I feel like they don't put enough espresso. It's like one, like the the yeah. shot to milk ratio. So it kind of just tastes like coffee flavored milk. But I feel like that has several shots of espresso. Uh. <laughs> we to Kisi up and one <laughs> kittens. Negative one. <laughs> We're walking Are you home. Tired? We're looking so bedraggled. We got water though. We got water after 10 minutes in Oxo. It's like someone's buying a house in there. Uh, we had a great day in Techies. This is back almost pretty much where we started. Yep. It is beautiful here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow or the next day or for the rest of our time here. Well, for the rest of our lives, really. We don't know much. We really don't know much, but we do know we had a great time exploring. There were no rats. There was great pizza, which you guys didn't get to see, but trust me when I tell you it was delicious. Uh, is that it? That's it. Good, because my arm's breaking. I don't know how you do this. <laughs> <laughs>